Hi everybody, welcome back to my tax support channel. Today, in this video, we are going to look at how to enable anonymous access to an VB application. That's what we are going to discuss and we will demonstrate how to allow your user to access the application anonymously. Let's get started and understand. So guys, before I start, I will request everybody to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get regular updates of my YouTube channel. So let's get started and understand what is anonymous access and how to enable it. Before I proceed, let me just give you one more useful information. I have a book on Visual Builder. The name of the book is Effortless App Development with Oracle Visual Builder. This book is written by me. If you are willing to learn Oracle Visual Builder in detail, you can buy this book. So there's a link on this, like https colon slash slash packed dot live slash 3mwsnr7, which will take you to the Amazon website from where you can buy this book. If you're willing, just order now. Now let's get started and understand the anonymous access. What is anonymous access? Anonymous access is the type of access when you try to access any application and you don't need to log in into the application that is called anonymous access, meaning you are able to access the application without login. Like you use a lot many websites in day-to-day -day life, like you use Amazon, Flipkart, Snapdeal, and a lot many. So few part of the application you can access without login. That is called anonymous access of any application. Similarly, if you wanted to create a VB application, in which you don't need to log in. So you can expose that anonymous access application. By default, all the application which you develop in Visual Builder are secured. You need to log in to access it. But if you want your users to access the application anonymously, you can do that as well. So anonymous access allows user to access the application without login credentials. By default, all the applications are secured and require logging in using the Oracle Cloud account credentials. So you need the credentials to log in by default. When you enable anonymous access on the web or mobile application, that doesn't mean user will also be able to retrieve data from business objects or service connection. Meaning if you have a page, like a static page wherein you have some static information and you can allow anonymous access. But on a different page, you have a data which is coming from a business object. Even if, if you have allowed anonymous access on the web application, the user will be redirected to the login page because the data is secured. If you want your user to view the data which is coming from the business object and you want your users to view the data, you have to specifically enable the anonymous access from business object. Similarly, service connections as well. Let's suppose you have one REST API which you have configured in the Visual Builder and you have a page which is showing the data from a service connection. So even if you enable web, anonymous access for web or mobile application, then user will be redirected to the login page if that page is showing data from service connection. So you have to specifically enable anonymous access on service connection, meaning on each and every component, you have to explicitly enable anonymous access, whether it is your web or mobile application, whether the data is coming from business object, whether the data is coming from service connection. So let's look at how to enable anonymous access step by step. First step, I will show you how to enable anonymous access for web or mobile application. The second stage, I will show you how to allow user to access the data from business objects anonymously. In the third step, I will show you how to enable anonymous access on the service connection. So let's get started and understand the same. So here, this is my 
Visual Builder, and I have created a very simple application called Secure Application. And I have a PB app, and we have one page called Main Start. So on this Main Start, let me just drop an heading, nothing more than that. And let's say employ details. Along with this, let me just create a variable and let's say username. Click on a create button. And in this username, I am going to specify the default value as a system dot user. And let's say I wanted to show the email. Okay, fine. And I am going to simply bind this with that username so that I can show you. Now, so in order to enable the anonymous access, you have to keep one thing in mind. The thing is, you have to go to the settings and make sure this option is disabled. By default, this option is disabled. If this option is enabled, then you will not be able to create anonymous access in the Visual Builder instance. So you have to request your administrator to keep that option disabled in order to create anonymous applications too. Now, let's try to access this application. In order to enable anonymous access on the VB application, meaning web application, you have to click here, go to the settings and go to the security and enable this allow anonymous access. So this is the first step, meaning this checkbox will expose the application for anonymous user. In order to test this application, you have to stage it. So I'll click here and then stage it. And let's simply say stage. Let me do one thing. Let me again go back. Let me disable this first of all. I will show you by default all the applications are secured. Let me just restage it. Whatever change you have done, and if you want to apply those changes on the staged application, you have to restage it. What I have done, I have restaged this application. Let me go back to the application and let me access this application. And this is the URL I am able to access because I have logged in with this username. Let me just log out here. I have just copied it. And then let me log out. I have logged out. Let me again try to access this. And if you will try to access it, it will ask for the username. Let me just enter the username and the password. And here I will be able to access this application, meaning every application which you expose are secured by default. Let me again go back and open the Visual Builder now. Maybe I have already logged in. So let me save this guy. Let me now enable anonymous access. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to the settings, go to the security and enable it now. Now let's go ahead and then restage it. Let me again copy this URL. Let me log out. Logged out successfully, signed out and let me refresh it. Now you see, I have not logged in. That's the reason I am getting email as anonymous. And you see, I'm still able to access the application. So this is the first step, how to enable anonymous access for the users. Now let's get started and let's move to the second step, meaning how to enable anonymous access for business objects. So, let me reopen this application. Let me go to the business object. Let me create a new business object. Let's say employee. Click on a create button. I'm going to create certain fields here. Let's say first name. Let's say last name. And then let me just put some data here. Fine, I have one more record. Let me just keep one more record here. Let's say Rupin Kumar. Fine. 
let me go on the page and let me drag and drop this guy here and let me try to show the records from that table. So ID, first name, last name, next and then finish. I have this data on this page. Let me try to restage it and try to access the same application again. A stage, let's say replace a stage data with development data. Click on a stage. Fine. Now, this is my application URL. Let me log out and let's try to access this page without login. Logged out. You see, it is seeing like the user is logged in or not. If not logged in, then it will redirect user to login page because the data is coming from your business object. If you will log in here, you can see the data now. Okay, cool. Now let me do one thing. Let me enable the anonymous access for the business objects too. So let me just open this application. Now, if you want your users to view the data anonymously from business object, you have to go to the business object. You have to go to the security. You have to enable this role based security here. Now, by default, Visual Builder creates two authenticated roles. One is called authenticated user. Second is called anonymous user. So if you want your user to view the data anonymously, you have to check this option. Anonymous user will should be able to see view the data from this employee. Similarly, if you want your anonymous user to create the record, to update, to delete the record, you have to enable the corresponding options. But I only want my anonymous user to view the records. Let's see how we can do this. This is the only step which you need to enable. Now, let me re-stage and let's try. Fine, let me copy this and let me log out. I have logged out, let me just copy this URL here and then enter. Oh, okay. I need to log in here again. Maybe I have done something wrong. Let me, let's see what is that wrong here. Security. Okay, fine. Maybe I forget to stage. Let me restage and let's try then. Let me see if I have that record here or not. That's fine. Again, let me just copy this URL and then log out. Fine. Let me copy this. Hmm? No, it is not showing to me. Maybe seems to be some issue. Let me verify quickly. Not here. I need to what? Log in into the data. Just hold down. Okay. One more thing you need to take here. <coughs> so you have to click here on the settings option. You have to go to the business object. You also have to allow this anonymous access to business objects, describe endpoint. So this is one more option you need to enable if you are enabling anonymous access on the business object level. Now let's restage it and try. Okay, good. Let's try now. Let me go here. Let me try to copy this URL and then log out and then refresh. You see, 
anonymous, meaning without login, I am able to see the accounts. Similarly, you can allow anonymous access for the service connections. Maybe let me take this URL. Okay, so how to enable anonymous access for service connections? Let's say I have a service connection, this guy, this in case holder. Let me click on a service connection defined by endpoint. Go here. Next, go to the test and let's send request. Find save as example response. Click on a create button. Now, when you will try to access this service connection on a web page meaning let me just create a service connection page here service connection and click on a create button let me try to show the data from my service connection here table okay and then next and then finish now data is coming here now if you want your user to access this page anonymously so what you have to do you have to open your service connection you have to go to the server staff you have to click on add it and you have to check this option called allow anonymous access to the service connection infrastructure and authentication for anonymous access none logged in user is also none and anonymous access is also none maybe the api which you have configured requires basic authentication or the OAuth. then you have to select this basic authentication or OAuth and provide the credentials then authentication will happen automatically on behalf of anonymous user so let me just say none enable this and save it save it let me go ahead and then change the default page to service connection and let's restage it fine now let me copy this url log out from here and then refresh this page logged out fine you see Okay, I, I have not logged in. I have not changed this setting, that's fine. But you see, I am able to access the data from service connection anonymously. So this is how you enable anonymous access on web application level, business object level, and service connection level. So guys, that's all about this video. If you liked it, please like, comment, and share. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get regular updates. You can follow me over LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest. You can also see my blog, https colon slash less www.taxsupper.com. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day.